Well, we're heading to take a look at a couple of off-grid properties today, get some signs put up. We're heading down into the Riverdale area by the Bear River. Then we're gonna head up through Grace to Bancroft and then over past Lava and back through Downey. Beautiful southeastern Idaho trip. Treasureton Reservoir, it's great trout fishing. It is, uh, they're turning it into a trophy trout fishing. So artificial lures and flies, great from your float tube or your kayak. Um, there's some monsters in there. Well, we're coming into uh, Thatcher. And here as we cross the Bear River, if you take a right, you'll go down towards Maple Grove Hot Springs and Oneida Reservoir. Oneida Reservoir is great for walleye fishing and all water sports that you can enjoy. Hey, we want to do a quick walkthrough on this property at Squaw Creek, lot number 53. Just had this listed last week. I want to give you a quick tour of it. So I drove up again on this rainy day to get our sign put up, but we wanted to give you a quick tour of the cabin. Come in now. On this property, there is no well or culinary water currently, so we truck in the water. Um, you could get a permit, I'm sure, to drill a well on this property. But if you're looking for peace of mind and quiet, this is the place. Down here we've got the uh, Forest Service outhouse. Now that you have to take care of it yourself, but it was one of those uh, well-built outhouses. Then you have the uh, bunkhouse and the pavilion with the fire pit, and then a, another storage shed. Down our path from the cabin. You know, I am glad I came up on a rainy day. I wanted to see the conditions of the road, and it's been raining really hard, and the roads are fine. They were in great shape, great condition. So in the bunkhouse, you can have Four queen mattresses and two full. So if you get your adventurous campers that want a dry place and uh, have a good place to sleep, that's it. I think this is one of my favorite parts of the property is the pavilion. I like the way they designed it. You come in and you have the fire pit in the center and they've designed it with the vent up, up top for all the smoke to to exit. It is raining right now pretty good and it is dry as a bone. You could probably fit easily another four picnic tables under here and have your family reunion, your big parties with friends, uh, church groups, you name it. This is it's a great property. Now this property, most of the development is on the east side of the property and then it drops down the hill, kind of flattens out, drops down the hill. You've got 9.9 .9 acres. So if you're adventurous and want to throw some other things, maybe some uh, hammock areas, um, maybe a sport court down in the middle of the trees, whatever, you've got the room to do it. You could put in a, a place to store your side-by-sides, your four-wheelers, and it is private, so you're not going to have people going all night keeping you awake. As I mentioned, it is raining today and I was curious about the condition of the road. As you can see, it's very easily accessible. Um, I won't say dry, but it, it's definitely not muddy or washed out in any way. So if you're looking for a fantastic property to get away in the summer, you, can, you got room to get your RV up here if you want or bring your, your toys. Well, we stopped in Lava Hot Springs for some lunch. Um, I was gonna show you the exterior of the restaurant we ate at, the Chuck Wagon restaurant there on Main Street in Lava. It was very good. Um, I had the deep fried bacon and jalapeno burger. My wife had the, what the heck is that? The Malibu chicken sandwich. Uh, I'll show you a picture here. Too big to eat. It was a lot of food, but it was good. 
A um, lot of variety. Their menu is huge. For somebody who's been in the restaurant business 15 years like I have, I appreciate good portions, good variety. I also appreciate the amount of work and the pain in the butt it is to have such a big menu. So if you're ever in Lava Hot Springs, I recommend the Chuck Wagon. It's uh, worth your time and you know, it's a cool little town. So the environment was really cool too. I wanted to touch on that.